Hello, my name is Mira Balzuk from the University of Groningen in the Netherlands. And I am Kamila Gokot-Kanikua from Gdańsk University of Technology in Poland. We are members of the European Network of Open Educational Librarians. Welcome to the fourth episode of our series dedicated to the UNESCO recommendation on open educational resources, OER. This episode is one of the five OE bytes. Each byte is dedicated to one of the five UNESCO recommendations. We will keep them short and digestible, a delicious bite of open education for you. In this episode, we'd like to explore the fifth area of action addressed by the recommendation, namely fostering and facilitating wider international cooperation. We are examining this area today as we will be hosting a panel discussion on the subjects at the Open Education Global Congress this year. So how is this area outlined by UNESCO? The fifth action area aims to support international cooperation between stakeholders to minimize unnecessary duplication in OER development investments and to develop a global pool of culturally diverse, locally relevant, gender sensitive, accessible educational materials in multiple languages and formats. Libraries uh, have an important role to play when it comes to international cooperation in the area of open education. Many libraries are already organizing themselves in networks. According to the Spark Europe uh, 2021 survey report, open education in European libraries of higher education, librarians tend to be involved in creating, maintaining, and participating in networks that share OER. This happens at different levels, locally, regionally, and globally. Some examples of such international international networks are the European Network of Open Education Librarians, ENOEL, led by Spark Europe and a more recent Giber Working Group on Educational Resources. Within these international networks, librarians are involved in the advocacy and promotion of OE and OER, as well as creating and sharing sets of good practices, lists of useful resources and training materials. According to the report findings, libraries currently pay less attention to promoting and stimulating cross-border collaboration and alliances in OER projects and programs. This is an area full of potential for international cooperation, and we will give you some examples of what can be done here in the next section of this episode. At the same time, librarians active in the field of open education see ample opportunities in learning from each other. During networking activities, they can educate each other in the field of copyright, open licenses, and funding opportunities. Regarding the needs of librarians in OE, technology support and OE specific skills training take the lead, followed by the creation of policies and pedagogical support. This is partially addressed by peer to peer le learning and best practice exchanges that are happening in broader cross border OE communities. The survey results demonstrate that creating a new OE culture can be a challenge. However, if you are a member of national or international OE, OE communities, you can count on their support. Overall, solutions to larger challenges can be best addressed by joining our forces and skill sets internationally. So what can you do as a librarian to promote and reinforce international cooperation in the field of open education and OER? The report recommends that librarians start or continue to participate in international OE networks and projects. This is necessary to gain new knowledge and work together on common goals while increasing OE efforts and outputs. So be proactive, get involved with local and regional groups and join international networks of OE practitioners. Joining an international a community around OE, OER can be as simple as subscribing to an email list to begin with. Some of the more active ones are NOL, LIP OER, CC Open Education, and many other special interest groups. To address your own training needs, you can upskill by collaborating with other OE librarians in various international networks. Examples of such collaboration include such NOL led initiatives as. Open Education Champions, a series of interviews with key OE experts and advocates. 
under the Spotlight series of webinars in which open education practitioners share their expertise and personal journeys with open education. NOL Toolkit in on Open Education Benefits, translated into 16 languages by the network members. Open Education Drops, a series of short videos explaining the basics of open education to newcomers. Finally, this series of OE Bytes is also an international collaborative effort of NOL librarians. Consider the other inspiring examples of international cooperation projects, such as the network of open organizations that is co coordinated by OE Global and comprises various stakeholders working together to implement the UNESCO OER recommendation. One of their project's outputs is the OER Recommendation Actions Matrix, which is full of ideas about actions that can help governments and institutions implement open education. Another example is the Encore Plus project, or the European Network for Catalyzing Open Resources in Education. This network facilitates community building and knowledge exchange through thematic circle communities, and cross-cutting events. Also think of the OE Global Connect, the community space for anyone interested in open education. It is important to mention that you don't need to have all the necessary OE skills in your library because you can rely on network colleagues from other universities and countries. Open education librarians in the Netherlands, for example, organize themselves in special interest groups and communities, collectively work on developing a nationwide OER repository and search engine at the sources, and regularly conduct knowledge sessions on the subjects of open education, copyright, and information literacy. Two nationwide institutions are operating in Poland to support the creation of open educational, scientific, and culture resources and to promote related good practices and tools. These are open initiatives that can be joined by various institutions and organizations. What else can be done to foster and facilitate international cooperation? Libraries can join existing or start new cross-border collaborations within OER projects and programs. Such initiatives should include collaborative development and use of OER, as well as capacity building, repositories, communities of practice, and joint research on OER. Librarians can promote OER networks and projects among the local community through the library's website, presentations, and social media. You can even invite OE practitioners from other countries as guest speakers at online events of your institution. When reviewing your institution's strategic plans and policies, incorporate into them specific OER-related clauses from international agreements in the area of educational cooperation. Think of the UNESCO recommendation on OER, OER declarations, and sustainable development goals, among many others. Think global, act local. You can attend international conferences dedicated to open education and OER, and there are so many to choose from and apply best practices to your institutional context. Your local examples and lessons learned are very valuable too, and you're often welcome to present them at the global fora and platforms. Use your language skills and knowledge of the local context to contribute to the development of culturally diverse, locally relevant, gender sensitive, and multilingual collections of accessible OER. Are you overwhelmed? by the challenges connected to OE and its implementation are your, at your institution, find bodies among fellow OE librarians in other countries. You can use their experience and guidance, learn from each other's mistakes and accomplishments and exchange creative ideas. Libraries will need to join forces and collaborate internationally to further accelerate open education efforts and facilitate access to educational resources for all. Through such institutional collaboration experiences, both formal and informal, your library will accomplish more and get stronger. Better yet, your educational institution will be more productively involved in facilitating wider international cooperation in the area of open education and will become part of the larger open education movement. Together, we can achieve a more inclusive world that enables the access to and reuse of educational materials for many. 
We are interested in taking action and discovering the opportunities for such collaboration with like-minded experts. Join us at the NOL, a community of highly motivated open education librarians of Europe. Thank you for listening to the fourth Open Education Byte. The next three will explore other remaining areas of action of the UNESCO recommendation on open educational resources. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.